James, congratulations into the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam of Darts. How would you assess that one? Um, I wanted to win a little bit for someone else more than myself. Um, so um, probably would have wrapped it up way, way, way quicker than, 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 than what I did. But, um, you know, so onwards and upwards. Was that the celebrations we saw you to the family and friends there at the end there, the, the big fist pump? And the yeah, yeah. For, uh, uh, the, yeah, um, uh, there's a couple of people in that crowd that do way more for me than anyone ever has done. So, um, and one of them's going through some real hardship at the moment. So, um, probably took it a little bit personally and probably tried a little bit too hard. Um, if I didn't do that, it would have been over and done with way before. The middle spell of that game, you played some sublime Steady stuff. Steady Eddie. Some, some re the scoring was there, the, the mm. doubles were there, and raced into a lead. Yeah, maybe. Um, just thought it was Steady Eddie, and um, I was fortunate to do enough. Did you switch off a little bit towards the end there when it was a little bit too easy when it you were cruising? No, nah, it wasn't switching off. I just wasn't good enough. So uh, it's quite frustrating. So, uh, but yeah. Now looking ahead at that quarterfinal, Josh Rock, the the up and coming star. How do you assess that game? Yeah, I prefer that to the game we just played. So yeah. James, congratulations. Thank you. James, what are your thoughts on Josh Rock? He's only been in the PDC system for a couple of years, but he's had a, a rapid rise. Exactly that, you know. Um, he's a good player. Um, and you know he's he's a great great star. Um, Sky love him, ITV love him. So you know he's a he's a great influence for TV and young dark players. So that's always a good thing, right? For yourself, you talked about the motivations of people in the crowd, and you maybe wanted to do it more for them than yourself. Is that your your sole motivation this week? No, I, I think you mis completely mis misheard and mis misread what I've just said. Um, um, there's a, there's a real personal thing that's happened in the last couple of days for me and my family and and probably one of my best friends so um, mm, I, I'm lost in what you just said but um, no um, it's nothing to do with, uh, with with people that are in the crowd that are close it's um, way beyond that okay. um, moving forwards obviously it's up to 16 yeah. in the next round is that is that a positive for yourself well yeah I might play well after 16 because <laughs> I didn't play well there so Okay. James, just on that longer format, it's Josh Rock's first best of 31 match. I think that experience will help you in that match because something that he's not used to and you've, you've played loads of that format. No, not at all. He's keen as mustard. He's a young gun. Um, um, he doesn't give a flying about anyone. Um, but, you know, if I play, oh, I can. I'll win. If I don't, I won't. I, I think it's as simple as that, in my opinion. So that you've not played your best this tournament. So not even close. Is that a danger, then, to everybody else that the real James Bade has not turned up and he's in the quarterfinals? It's um, it's a frustration for me, because um, if I haven't done it now on my fourth game, uh, is it going to come out? I don't know. Um, if it does, you know, I'll be all right. I'll be, I'll be Christian. I'll be, it'll be fun. But um, at the moment, it's um, looking quite um, bleak. I think. But you know, I can still win games playing bad, so that's a good thing. James, thank you. Thank you. James, uh, prior to this game, you had beaten Chris six out of nine times. Does that ease the pressure into the major bracket? No, no. Game by game, it's, it's irrelevant. Um, he's a great player. You know, he didn't play how he can. Um, again, I think it was a bit like Michael Smith when I played him. I think the occasion, even though they both won't want to admit to it or both won't, won't want to say it, I think the occasion got to him at the time and I was just a little bit more um, lucky at times with the right doubles. So. And as a former three-sign finalist, do you think experience will be key now in the longer form of the game? No, the no, it's, it's beyond that nowadays. Nowadays, it's beyond that. Um, these these younger players, um, not not just younger players, actually, that's, that's quite rude to, to, to knock people like myself out of it. Um, players aren't bothered by that anymore. You know, it's, um, it's if it goes right on the night. And, um, you know, it can go right for any one of quite a lot of the players that are still left in it. You know, what, what shocked me, actually, was some of the... Um, some of the um, odds for certain players to win the tournament, you know, I was quite shocked by that. But um, you know, realistically, the, the you know any any one of the players in it can win it. But some of the players that I don't think can win it, are really really short odds. So that's 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 good for the um, bookmakers, I think. Okay. They can um, real real people in. <laughs> <laughs> and did um, finishing in the finals of the European. Championships put you in a, in a good headspace for a tournament like this. Or? Yes and no, because I didn't didn't play very well there um, against Peter. I was so so weak, um, but I was so grateful to be in the final. So um, got to take a positive with a negative. Um, I played one good game in the whole tournament. I think I played against Luke Humphreys. You know that was a pretty good game. Um, 
but I, what I've got to realise is I'm not a big average hitter, um, and I can beat the best players in the world with with ninety. So, you know, I've got I've got I've since I was wasn't very well probably like fourteen to sixteen months ago. You know, at the time of fourteen sixteen months ago, I was number three in the world and I was doing pretty well, and no one really wanted to play me. Um, unfortunately, that that that. Um, life had its little story in between, and uh, I had an inclusion in in between. And uh, yeah, so I've got to recover from it all, and no one's going to wait for me, um, as it as it's shown. Cheers, Jim. Thank, Thank you. you.